Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20. And this is Pahamar. Hey, Pahamar, uh, Pah Pah I mean, not Pahamar. <laughs> Who's the noob now, Dyer? <laughs> I don't know, who is? I don't know, maybe the viewers will decide. I think they will. I don't know why I said um, it like that. I know. So we've uh, we've done a little bit of improvements here while we uh, we were between episodes. Did we? What did we do? We did well, a bunch of stuff. I know that much. Yeah, we uh, we now have a chest uh, that's storing all of our cobblestone from our igneous extruder. I have right. tore down the fence around our little uh, composting factory over here. Factory. Cool. Uh, quotes. And I uh, filled in the gap here because it felt like it was a death trap. And uh, we've now actually got ourselves some chests out here because we had a lot of things spread all over the place. And at least now we have a, a place to kind of call home. Well, that's good. I do like myself some organization. Last well, thing I, I wanted to that far. chests laying all over the place. Yeah, they're not soaring chests. They're not organized, but they're not just everywhere. All right, that works for me. And let's see, where are we let's with the working. quests right now? I don't know, but I'm making something that'll hopefully help us out a lot. Would you like to see the thing that I'm going to make to to make our at least improve our our farm over there? I would really very much like that. Oh, you made a sprinkler. I did. Okay. Have you played with that yet? I have not. I've seen them, but I haven't actually used them. Tell right, me well, about this sprinkler. To, um, we're going we're gonna to use them. And I'll show you how to set it up. But right now you're going to blast out some rock. Yeah, I realize I need a couple more pieces of uh, glass than I had prepared to uh, ahead of time. So let's see. What I need then is, uh, oh, I'm also probably going to need a couple more pieces of iron. Do you have a bucket by chance? Oh, we do. I'm going to yeah, use uh, a bucket. Is that all right? Yeah, go for it. All right. And that will cook up some glass. So while you're working so on, you're that, on that, that, I think the two think quests we want to be looking at maybe in this episode is dust in the wind and I'm smelting. I'm smelting. Okay. With dust in the wind we can get right now because uh, now that we have cobble we have an easy way to uh, to smash things down to get ores and this is pretty simple okay. and the I'm smelting will allow us to get a smeltery up and running and we'll actually get a full oh wow so the rewards are we get a bunch of more bricks we get to pick a slimy sapling a peach sla uh, sapling a reward bag or a full heart so it's actually a really good set of rewards there the slimy sapling might be good And Sticks is still the best way to like do a small amount of smelting, right? I think so, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, I think that's probably like, unless they change that, I don't know. Ooh, potatoes. I love potatoes. So you're thinking I'm smelting, I'm smelting? I'm thinking the dust in the wind because we have just such an easy supply of cobble right now. Okay. So one of us should probably work on that, and I think we really want to get started on a mob spawner now that we have that cobblestone gen working away, because uh, I think we're getting pretty low on our bone meal, and we don't have a really good food situation going on right yet, and I'm afraid to die. Gotcha. Ooh, well, this would I definitely see help else our food situation made. right here. I believe. We have an infinite water source. We don't care about this water, right? That's correct. Okay. Then I'm pretty sure that all we need to do... I'm going to overwrite this with an aqueous accumulator, which should start accumulating water. And from what I understand, um, it will accumulate enough water to keep the sprinkler happy. So even though it's slow, um, it should be enough to, to get this thing going. See? Nice. So how did you turn the sprinkler on? Because I tried clicking on it, and it just opened up an inventory. Uh, it turns on by itself as long as it has water inside. Ah. Yeah, so as long as it's being fed a supply of water, which we should check on this a little bit later to make sure, but I believe, like I tested this a little bit, that we, uh, one aqueous accumulator, even without water blocks on the side to make it fill up faster, is enough to supply water to the sprinkler. So what does the sprinkler do? Like, I, I understand it keeps things wet, but does it increase its growth rate? Yes, it randomly applies bone meal to the tiles it hits. Nice. This so it has a random chance. Out. Yeah, and if you put actual bone meal in the interface there, like we have a few pieces we can use, right? 
yep. if we put some bone meal inside the sprinkler, it uses it up slowly and it's like more efficient than actually just right clicking bone meal on the blocks and it'll have a higher rate of manually applying that bone meal. So it's like, nice. a, it's like an automated bone mealer and it doesn't use the bone meal unless you put it in there. So it's, it's, it's one way or another, it's better than not having it. So I think this will at least help grow our crops faster. It's not as good as the thing I gave you on Forgecraft, the Thomcraft thing, but I don't uh, think we have any chance well, of getting that soon. Knowing Jade Cat, I don't think she'd give that to us at this early. No, no. She likes to make people starve. For some reason, all of her maps are about people starving to death. It's almost like she really enjoys the hunger mechanic. I, I think she does. And I want to remind our viewers that if you or I run out of hunger bar, like it's not like, oh, we start taking damage and we get low on health and then we eventually die. It's, oh, you ran out of hunger, you're instantly dead without any warning. Yeah, it's pretty shocking. Yeah, so we want to make sure that doesn't happen. All right, so dust in the wind, right? So I have to, I have to mash up some, um, some stuff and then throw it in the CF and get some, um, some, some iron ore, right? I think that's some of those little crushed iron. So I yeah. think I can get crushed iron ore from uh, sand, is what I believe. Is it sand or gravel? Uh, let's see. Well, iron gravel ore is a combination of like four pieces of crushed ore. Isn't that the case? I believe. And my NEI is not working. I don't know why it does that. I'm pressing O and it's not doing anything. Um, I don't know. Oh, well, you All are right. the recipe guy. I'll be the uh, mob spawner then. Okay, cool. You're going to start working on the mob spawner right away? Yeah, I think uh, I think we'll go out in the west direction. Seems like a good way to go. All right, you're the boss. Just make sure to put some torches down. And, and if you are building a mob spawner, don't let the mobs get to our base because that could probably be bad really fast. Come on, it's almost like you don't trust me. Mm, I trust you. Alright, YouTube, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording for a minute here because for the next few minutes I'm just going to be hitting some gravel with a hammer. And that sounds a little boring. You guys probably don't want to watch that. But just here's here's a quick refresher on uh, X Nilo in case you guys uh, aren't familiar with the mod too much. And while I'm doing this, um, different materials here all produce different things. So right now I'm pushing uh, some, oh, I'm getting some crushed ore. All right, so I'm definitely getting some crushed ore from this. Um, when you drop uh, sand in this, you get some different materials and it's all differently weighted, right? So from sand, uh, we have a pretty common chance of getting iron and gold and a pretty rare chance of getting certain seeds and stuff. Um, but from gravel, we'll get different stuff like flint um, and broken iron and gold. You know what? Yeah, I guess we're getting broken iron from gravel. So I'm not sure if it's crushed iron or broken iron that we need to get the, the gravel, but I guess we'll find out pretty quickly here. So I've got some crushed iron ore. That gets me crushed. That gets me iron ore sand. Okay. I gotcha. So we do actually want to um, throw gravel in there. So let me go put this stuff in here, and we'll mess with that a little bit. Oh, I got an exotic seed. I don't know what that is. Actually, I think I do know what that is. That's the one... Hmm. According to the wiki, it says it's supposed to be an ancient spore, but I wonder if that's the one that gives us uh, the, the mushroom biome stuff. Do you know what an exotic seed is, Bahamar? I do not. Come on, man. I thought you knew all these mods. I'm just not a potty noob anymore. Oh, okay. You played a little bit of this map before we started, didn't you? Not terribly much. We did it on a patron stream, and it was uh, pretty fun, but there's a lot of content to this. Like, we have 24 quests just to do in this first chapter. Yeah, and there's like seven chapters. Yeah, seven chapters. So, we have a lot to do. Yeah, we definitely do. And this is the easy one, if you can believe it. Oh, this is the easy one? <laughs> yeah, these are the well, easy ones. Well, I guess it's good for us to get our infrastructure set up. Like, having a cobble gen is going to be huge for us right now. I do like this little sifter thing. This is really cool. You think that'll uh, make its way into your normal series? No, I, w I, w I would say probably not. Yeah, you don't, yeah. You, don't, uh, you don't mess around in your single player. Okay, see, now I've got some broken iron ore, which I believe that's how we make iron ore gravel. So I'm not sure why the recipe wasn't, like, I couldn't look up the recipe for iron ore gravel, but I've got some broken stuff now. So that's kind of cool. All right. All right. And in fact, this time, YouTube, I will actually stop recording for a minute while...
Um, but I do want to take a quick look over. See, our farm is doing well, Pahamar. We've already got some growth going on. Let's see. I'm on my way over there. Check it out. Okay. You might be surprised. That is actually, yeah. It looks like it gained bad, almost right? 40% yeah. in the time I was gone. Yeah. No, it's, it's definitely good. We definitely got to get some melons growing. Those pumpkins aren't doing much for us right now. Yeah, I, I do have melon seeds around here somewhere. Uh, I do need to find them. Let me look for the melon seeds real quick. I know I've got some. I thought I had melon seeds around here somewhere. Yeah. Hmm, maybe we don't. Maybe I lost them. Hmm. Oh, I blame you. Well, that's the logical thing to do, isn't it? All right, so we'll be back in a minute, guys. I'm going to mash up a few more pieces of gravel and then uh, start getting that stuff. Okay, so I am I got iron ore gravel. And uh, if I'm correct, we are now 100% complete on that reward. Ooh, let me check. Dust in the wind. So I'm going to hand in mine. I'm going to pick the first reward bag, I think. Uh, what about the ore sand? There's two uh, parts to this quest. There's oh, ore new gravel. One Iron ore sand. Oh, yeah. I can make that. I have the stuff for that, too. I forgot that sometimes that shows up. Oh, now there's iron ore dust. <laughs> you got to do that right. one now, too? Uh, don't we have one? Like, Do we have to craft it, actually, to make that count? I think you have to craft it. Really? Look, I've got one in my inventory. Does it count? No, it doesn't count. All right. So I actually have to mash up some dust and get some of the little bits of... I, I might have pulverized iron ore. Can I do this to get sand? I can. Aha, Pahamar, we did it. Mission complete. <laughs> Your emphasis was interesting. I I know. I was, I was pretty You're excited. You're just excited, I know. Uh, well, I've been I've been playing with this little sifter for a little while here off camera, so I did happen to get all the stuff we needed without realizing that we needed it all. Let's see what I got. Ooh, I have a good bag. Which one did you pick? I picked the third one. What'd you get? I don't know. Let's see what the universe is going to gift me this time. I got an angry doll and a creepy doll. I don't want either of those things. I'm going to pick the middle bag. Those two things actually are how we get a, uh, I believe creepy gets us a creeper or an enderman, and the angry one gets us a blaze. <laughs> Look what I got. Did you get, oh yeah, it actually does, <laughs> I got this before too, the cake is not a lie cake. Uh, it will feed you. Oh cool. We should. I'm, I'm, I do want to eventually organize our chests, guys. I promise I will. Uh, where are we storing our, our hearts? Do you want to combine our, our? Do you want to give me your quarter heart and I'll combine it for my half heart? It's in the uh, the small chest there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, someone pointed out on YouTube. Did you notice this in our first episode? You actually called me Soren. Somebody pointed out incorrectly. If you pay really close attention, I did not call you Soren. I don't know. Someone gave me a minute and second pointer like with the exact moment exactly. you apparently called me Soren. yeah but did you actually go listen to that i did not i was too busy laughing at the comments okay so what you should do is go listen and listen carefully because i i don't think i called you Soren. i think i said sore next but i said it like really fast so like so are next like sore next like sounded like uh -huh. But if you listen carefully i did not call you Soren. <laughs> yeah that guy's he's totally got... on the defensive uh, I'm, I, I, I actually considered that I could have because when we were recording that it was pretty late and I was really tired and I was like yeah I probably did that that sounds like something I would do but I did uh, somebody gave me like the, the time code too to jump to to see it and I was like alright yeah I'll take a look and see if that actually happened or not and I was like no I didn't say that alright I'm going to mash up some more stuff and get some more materials here guys we'll be back in a few So guys, here's a nifty little trick. Uh, 
about, I believe, if I'm reading this correctly, about X Nihilo. When you combine four broken iron ore, as we just saw, we get iron ore gravel, right? So we can use that to smelt directly into iron ingots, right? So we can just smelt that directly and get an iron ingot. But I believe if I grab it with a hammer here and mash that down, there's a chance, see, I got five crushed iron ore. And I combine those, and I can get iron ore sand, which can be crafted into an ingot. But notice I got a leftover uh, crushed iron ore. And if I break the iron ore sand with a mallet, uh, I got four uh, pulverized iron ore this time, but there's a chance I could get five. And as a matter of fact, Bahamar, I wonder if, like, the fortune enchant would affect that, because you're that basically works like redstone, right? You're breaking a block and getting dusts. Mm -hmm. Should be able to. So I bet, I bet fortune would work on that. I'm not sure. It doesn't actually specify. Uh, but like the other stuff, we can smelt this and get iron ore. So basically, I think what I'm going to do here, Pai, is just break the gravel and then combine the the gravel pieces down to get. Um, the crushed iron ore and then combine it down more to get the dust and keep mashing it like that and then eventually I think we'll have a surplus or at least we'll have more iron than we would have gotten if we had broken this down to sand and, and mashed through that. Besides after all the sand is more intended for getting stuff like redstone and the other kind of dust that we can get. That's like a plan? Sounds like a plan. All right, guys, we're going to try something out here. I've heard rumor that if you smelt bread, it's actually a pretty good source of food. So I'm going to eat a piece of bread unsmelted and see what happens. That's one and a half, it looks like. And toast gives us, what was that, two? I think that was two. So yeah, toast is definitely a little better than bread. And it does refer to itself as nourishing. That's good to know. Yeah. Toast, nourishing, light meal. Okay. That works for me. I'm going to go check on our farm. It's actually doing pretty well over here. I'm waiting for it to grow a little bit more. Uh, pumpkins we can't really do much with right now, you said? Yeah. It looks like um, like we can make pumpkin bread later, but okay. right now that's a little out of our tech. Okay. Oh, here's my melon. I did have a melon seed. I planted it. And it's growing now. I think I got them all. Ah, darn it. So with this sir, uh, with this map, I should say, not server, wow. Uh, with this map being so hardcore on hunger, would you say that our farm is a dire farm? Uh, you could say that. I would never say that. Do you not appreciate my dad humor? I appreciate it from a distance. One day. <laughs> one day, indeed. <laughs> I appreciate it from a distance. Alright, uh, I did plant the melon seeds last episode. You know, it was like midnight when we finished recording, so... Yeah, it was a school tired. night. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm planting some more melons as we speak. Do you remember how many uh, there we go. blocks a mob has to drop to die? Um, uh, oh, you know what? Oh, there's my problem. Ha! I knew, I knew I planted these. Guess what? You didn't till the earth? No, I did till the earth. I, I was looking at it with Wayla. Guess what the name of, um, of melon stems are? Tile.pumpkinstem.name <laughs> Yeah, because they use the same meta. Oh, sorry, they use the same ID. Yeah, so I was looking for it, and I was like, hey, I swore I planted these, and I, like, moused over it. I'm like, hey, that's not that's not it. I guess I didn't plant it. Oh, what kind of derp am I? And there there it was. Okay. I'm sorry. You were asking me some kind of question? How far mobs have to drop? Uh, off the top of my head, I do not know. All right, we'll be back in a minute. I've got some gravel to, to see of. Uh, by the way, the main reason I'm doing this is because you have a very low chance of getting both diamonds and emeralds from doing this, and I'm kind of trying to get some of those because um, I'm looking to do some automation while Pahimar is getting ready to do his mob drop over there, which is actually looking pretty good. Hey, Dyer, I'm just about done. You want to come check it out? I would love to come check it out. I was just doing a little bit of farming. 
Ooh, it's looking good. I can see it in the distance. Hang on, let me jump off all the stuff that I got from the graveling that I've been doing. So I've actually made some pretty good progress on graveling, by the way, while I'm on my way over there. Good, because I think yeah. we're going to want to get some iron. I want to get some hoppers in here, so it's really easy to collect the mob drops. But that might be a bit nice. dangerous, but we'll handle that later. Okay, I don't have a sword on me, really. I That's okay. okay. You don't need to worry about any enemies right now. Uh, if you build this thing, I don't know. Hey, I'm pro mob drop spawner. It looks pretty good from out here. Do you here. like my little window for the access? It looks nice, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Cool. As long as skeletons can't shoot me through it. No, uh, I don't think Are you need to worry about Do you want me that. to come up and see it from up here? Yeah, come on up. I want you to, okay. uh, to show the audience how it's built inside. Okay. So I can get up this ladder yeah, here? Yeah, take the first exit. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it looks good. So you got some water going on. So basically, mobs will spawn in here once you remove all these torches, and they'll eventually mill their way towards the water and then get pushed and fall into there. Exactly. Die. They should nice. drop 22 blocks, which will leave them with about a half of a health, so we'll just come by and we'll punch them all, and we'll gather oh, okay. the drops, and a ton of experience. That works. And then uh, that ladder goes to the very top of this, because uh, this actually is expandable. Oh, okay. If we wanted to, we could build another mob spawner up on top of here and have a drop in the same channel. So. Nice. Good work, dude. You want to turn it on? Sure, just a sec. I'm going to have to knock out torches, these right? torches, and uh, we'll have to break these platforms. See the Which uh, platforms? the little one-by-ones one that go over the water channels? Yeah. Those are there so that I can break this uh, on my way out. Well, you can leave them there, right? It doesn't hurt anything? Uh, I think you want to drop them, because it increases uh, the chances of these guys falling. Okay. All right, I'm going to kill this one over here. Okay, you have a pick? Yeah. You've got those? Are you going to be able to jump across that? No. No. <laughs> Pahi what? I'm not the noob. You're the prankster who's trapping me over there. I told you I was breaking this one. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. I have my back to you. See? You should have paid attention to what I was doing. Daryl's trying to kill me, guys. I would do no such thing because we're sharing lives. I mean, if I, if we weren't sharing lives, maybe. But you might I don't you die. might kill me once just to like try and prove dominance or something. I don't know. Probably not. All right. I'll close the door on the way out. We'll have to kill this uh, light from up here too. No, there's uh, this is a wall that has to be built back up. Oh, okay. You got that. Mob spawner engaged. Cool. Let's see what happens. So I think we might need to walk away for the spawns to work. Okay. Like maybe stand out here on the bridge or something? Yeah, something like, yeah, something like that. Now if I look at F3, I should be able to see a number of entities. Apparently there's six up there. Already? Wow. Isn't that the, the bottom letter E? I'm looking at myself. There's so much on there. I'm not used to looking at this thing. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure the bottom E is number of entities, which is... Yeah. Um, and the first number is how many are in your view distance. So like if you look down... You oh, yeah, they're spawning. Like, oh, yeah, 12 or 13. 13. Yeah, 15 to 17. So uh, they're still spawning. Going. That's good. My only thing is, should we bump the window up one half block? Because it's a little bit low, I think. That is a half block, actually. Well, I mean, like, bump it up a half block. Like, make it so that... Oh, look at that. We got a zombie. And a skeleton. Nice. Good job, Pymar. Creepers. Look at that, dude. You did it. You got a serious oh, business yeah. going on here. So, I, so for an improvement where they're dropping right now, it's just blocks. I want them to drop on hoppers, which... Oh, man, we got baby zombies and everything. I got two bones nice. already. I'm thinking, do we want to, like, make the window a little bit higher, or is this good the way we have it? Oh, look, I think we just got a peck. A what? From, uh, Thomcraft. You might want to build a wall around here. I just about got knocked off. Yeah, you want to be careful. I'm wondering if, like, items and experience are having trouble getting through here because it's half-locked. That's better.
<laughs> I've hit him with my frying pan. See, audience, what Direwolf's doing right now is he's uh, getting out some aggression because he's been smacking away at gravel for about 20 minutes now. 20 minutes? Try like 45. All I've been doing is right-clicking on gravel, trying to get myself, you know, some number of stuff. I've gotten two emerald and one diamond, so technically at this point I think I need one more diamond. You begin to feel comfortable handling the pan of destiny. Nice. That's cool, I got some lifesteal on that thing. Nice, and now we have a nice little wall here that should save us. Oh, good. So what I've been doing here, Pahamar, is I broke some of the um, half slabs you have around here, so spiders can't get out still, but okay. we can collect items through the walls. I like that you made it so that you have to kill them, because now we're actually getting a decent amount of experience, which we can use for some good stuff. That's exactly what I was aiming for. Well done, sir. Pahi noob nickname revoked. Woohoo! I've graduated! Until you do something noobish. Which should probably be about 5 or 10 minutes. And yeah. Hey! I have bones and I have zombie flesh. You know what that means? Um, we can complete nope. a quest. Can we? Yeah, we can commit the Mary Had a Butcher Shop. Let's see. Oh, Where is it, it actually it? wants. Actually... A f oh, it wants ten. Uh, I might have close to that actually. So I had two yeah, zombie yeah. flesh and I had two bones. Oh, let me have the bones and I can complete it. Unless oh, you I've already uh, submitted them. So you should see okay. that they're twenty percent. Okay. So I'll uh, manually submit and we're good to go. All right. Are what you, do you going? What do you think flight fix is? I don't know. I'm imagining that's a flight potion. I guess. But the safari net is nice. It's a single use though, so we can only use it once. Hmm. Uh, let's see, bag one or bag two? We're gonna go two. I defer to you, sir. Now you realize we were going to get two safari nets out of this, right? Yeah. And inside of my bag, I've got... more dolls. I got another creepy doll and another angry doll. Interesting. I'm gonna put all our mob drop stuff in this chest in here. Right up above here. Until we get, like, something more formal over there. Alright, I'm gonna go hand in my quest 2 and see what I get. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna pick the second bag. I got... ooh, a spiked axe. Jagged, stonebound, 5 attack damage. Not There's terrible. a heart in there. And where? In the mob drop spot. Yes. That's not that kind I of I can't heart. reach it. I've got the magnet. I'll come get it. Yeah, maybe you can we use want that to give yourself um, plus max life. It's from Tinker's Construct. Do you want the magnet while you're doing the mob drop thing? Yeah, I think that's a good yes. idea. Alright, you got it. And I'll put the heart over on our chest. Alright, so what I'm working towards, guys, is I would really like to get an autonomous activator, because this whole graveling thing is terrible. Um, terribly painful to do manually, that is. We're actually going to need several autonomous activators if we want to automate all the things by Himar, but I don't think we're quite at that point yet. Uh, put this away, because I don't want to accidentally use that. That's a cool thing. Uh, and the safari net we can put away. And that guy. Cool. So let's see what kind of quests we got coming up that we could complete soon. Fungus Among Us. That we need soul sand, glowstone, and ender pearls. I don't even know. We have glowstone, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, so sand until you see ancient spores. Plant these spores on a dirt block near a barrel filled with water to start turning the water into witch water. While the water in the barrel turns into witch water, mushrooms will spawn on the mycelium. Placing sand in a barrel of witch water will make soul sand. Sifting soul sand can give you nether plants and resources. Placing a creepy doll in a barrel of witch water will spawn an enderman. Oh, did you hear that? Spawn? Oh yeah, an enderman you said. Yes. Didn't you say you got a creepy doll? I got two, and oh my god, I'm at half a health. Half, half a hunger. Uh, yeah, you have food? Yeah, I had two raw potatoes. I need Here. to go eat. Uh, 
Yes, I've forgotten how much hunger you lose while you're uh, killing things. That was about five yeah, minutes, wasn't it? That was not bad at all. I have so much gunpowder and things. I have 33 gunpowder, I have 50 arrows, 38 raw, uh, rotten flesh, 3 skeleton skulls, 4 zombie heads, 50 bones, and a miniature nice. red heart. Oh, you know what you can do, dude? Go uh, put some bone meal in the... Um, sprinkler? In the, uh, sprinkler, yeah. Yeah, see, that mob farm, farm right? is pro. What's that? Yeah, that is a really good looking animal farm. So do you want to work on fungus among us or the pastoral life, which will give I us yeah, I think we spawn actually want chicken to get, and like, spawn egg? Yeah, and I've actually seen squid. Zomb um, squid spawning. They actually were spawning in the infinite water source that was falling below the farm here. Wow, nine arrows equals spawn chicken. That's it? Yeah. I have so many things for chickens then. Right? I mean, I was over there for a minute and I can get a chicken. And then we can get some, like, chicken chicken. If we build grass platforms, which I'm pretty sure I have an idea or two on how we can actually make happen, uh, mm -hmm. we can start getting some actual animal spawns. But we can look at that in a little bit. I have five um, chicken so eggs. that's an option. That just gets us a single-use safari net, though. Um, I kind of like the idea of... Why is there a raw fish that looks like it has an enchant on it? I'm a little bit concerned about that. <laughs> I'll hail um, the magic fish. Yeah, unless you want to do the I'm um, smelting, I'm um, smelting, because that, that would actually get us a slimy sapling, which is cool. Um... Hmm. Well, we can compost rotten flesh, I believe, because I think we want to start getting a bunch of dirt. Okay. Uh, which quest would you like me to start working towards? Ooh, those, that, that barrel looks disgusting, full of rotten flesh. <laughs> uh, I think that, because I've got chicken eggs, so that's pretty good for the pastoral. Why don't we... Um, hmm. Like, we can get that easily if you just spawn a chicken and wait for like an actual egg to drop, and then we can just make fishing rods. Do you want the chicken eggs? And I'll work on the mob farm some more. I can do that. Right now I'm just hammering some cobblestone into gravel. Once again. But yeah, I can get a... Let me. I have uh, the arrows, so I can spawn a chicken somewhere. I'll put them in a fenced-in area. I'll make a little fenced-in area for a chicken. Well, there's five chicken eggs. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Uh, can we do anything with these skeleton heads or anything? I'm sure we can at some point. I wasn't sure if there's anything in any eye. Like I said, mine's not loaded, so... Let's see. Where's a good place for an animal farm? Alright, we've got five chickens. Nice. Now we just need squid. Yeah. Which is actually, we just need a chicken egg and some fishing rods. Was that a hand in quest, by the way? Not that it really matters too much. No, it wasn't. It was just make it, so. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna go back to uh, smashing cobblestone. I'll be back. Okay. Alright, guys, uh, we are back, and Pahamar, I think uh, this episode's getting a little long in the tooth. I think we've said that three times in a row now. Have we? Uh, I think we're really long in the tooth. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, well, we've, uh, we've... Let's try that again. Pahamar, I think it's about wrapping up point. I think it's about wrapping up point, too. Hooray! We are in agreement. So, uh, next episode, what do you want to do? 
Uh, I think we should start working on a smeltery, because I just in general like Tinker's Construct, but that's like... that's That seems to be like the next big thing that we need to work towards. So in order to get this, I know we're going to need a lot of clay and a lot of sand. And a lot of, um... Well, basically, yeah, clay and sand. And I wonder if uh, using the dust inside the smeltery will get double, which will be really nice, too. Yeah, we'll have to look at that. Um, gravel, clay, and sand. Yeah, that's the, that's the big stuff we need. So, obviously, that's not too hard to get. I think clay we can get from one of these processes. Um, I forget if it's sand. Let me look real it's quick. It's dust and a water barrel. Oh, is it? Yeah, and you get a block of clay. Oh, nice. Can we fill water barrels with, like, water buckets? I think we can. Oh, then that's cool. So we don't have to worry about collecting yeah, rain. It should be yeah. it should be pretty good. Plus, we got the three slab furnaces over there. Yeah. So smelting won't take long. No, definitely not. We need a lot of stuff, though, for a smelter. We need, like, a stack. Kind of. I think we're going to need a lot of glass is the big thing. Yeah. All right, guys. So uh, I think what we'll do is we'll wrap up the episode here. Uh, I'll come back. Hopefully next time when we come back, I'll at least have made one more diamond from this gravel thing. It's a very low percent chance. I've gone through a lot of cobblestone doing this, and I've only gotten one diamond and two emeralds, which I need, as far as I know, uh, Jaded killed us with the, um, the autonomous activator recipe. Yeah, that was rough. Yeah, two diamonds and two emeralds and two invar ingots, actually. So... I mean, we actually have to get a little bit of, uh, in order to get Invar, we're going to need, well, actually, no, I, I can get us Invar without, um, Tinker's Con, or without Thermal Expansion, believe it or not. Did you know that? I did not. Yeah. I've got a sneaky way to get Invar. If there was ever a sneak, it was you. Yeah, I do what I can. All right, guys, so we'll be back next time, and we have a lot of stuff to work on, right, Bahamar? We haven't even started, really, like, the, the hard quests in this book, have we? <laughs> no, we're, we're about... Uh, let's actually check. We are... We are 45% complete the basic quests. Nice. All right, guys, we're off. Take it easy. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.